Hi, I'm Jason. I'm an athletic training student at Seton Hall. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm the patient today. All right, so what we're going to be doing is hip external rotation. Uh, there's six external rotators of the hip, but we're going to predominantly focus on the glute meat. So the first exercise we're going to do is an isometric exercise. So it's a contraction without motion, but it's still a strengthening technique. For this, we're going to do clamshells. So Lizzie is going to lay down on her side. She's going to make sure that her head, shoulders, and hips are aligned. So it comes to up a little bit better. Her knees are going to come to 45 degree angle, and so are her hips. What she's going to do is she's going to bring her leg up to about 45 to 90. She's going to hold this for five seconds. Then bring it down nice, slow, and controlled. This is the eccentric phase. The isometric is the hold, and the concentric phase is up. You're going to do three sets of ten of this. You're going to hold for five seconds, making sure you're breathing, making sure everything stays in line. You keep a nice, tight core throughout. Closed kinetic chain exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to do a squat with a band around our legs. That way when we can go out, we can do a hip external rotation and have resistance against it. So what I want you to do is stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, head up, chest up, back straight. You're going to start with the hip hinge backwards. You're going to come down just to about 45 degrees right here. And then you're going to slowly turn your foot out to the side against the resistance. You're nice and controlled on your knees. Perfect. So as you'll notice, she's keeping a flat spine. She's keeping her head straight. She's not rounding. And she's making sure that the other foot remains stationary while she only turns the affected leg. Now for a side view. So as she turns out to the side, that's the concentric phase. And then as she turns back in, under control, that's her eccentric phase. And what you would do is three sets of this for 10 reps of each side. So for our open chain kinetic exercise, what we're going to do is open the gate walk. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking a step, bringing your knee up, keeping everything else nice and straight, and widening out, externally rotating, centrally out, while also being able to stretch your adductor glute. You'll take another step, open the next one out, nice, slow, and under control. Try and bring this up to about 90 degrees if you can, and then as you get a little bit better, we'll start adding in some more motion force so that it becomes a little bit more dynamic. So you'll be having motion while you take another step into it and continue moving. And as you're doing this, what you can do is you can either do it for reps where you can do 10 reps on each side, or you can go the length, say, maybe half a basketball court or a soccer field, depending on whatever sport you're doing. And on the way back, good. Making sure that everything is staying upright. She's not bending over. She's moving her knee up. And then out to the side, externally rotating the head. So for our functional exercise, what we're going to do is passing a soccer ball and receiving a soccer ball. Because every time you do that, you will externally rotate the hip to control the ball. So what I want you to do is just stand here. I'm going to pass the ball to you under control, turn your hip out, stop the ball, and then pass it back. Good. Take it back. Perfect. And what you can do is you can do this and continue passing and do it in sets of 10, 10 passes each leg, and for three sets.